All right, fishy folks, let's talk about plecos on this pleco Thursday. I don't really know what to call Thursday. I skipped order change Wednesday because I've been so busy with life. I apologize. Please find it in your hearts to forgive me. Uh, but here today, we're going to talk about some plecos. Here we have just some regular albino bristlenose and cistrus. You can see there's four. There's actually five in the tank, but you can see four, one, two, three, four. And the fifth one is somewhere. I don't know where. Um, all these plecos that I'm going to show you do require wood in their tank. And there's a tiny piece of wood in the back. And these guys are pigs. Uh, every day I feel, feed at least an algae wafer and either green beans or lettuce or um, cucumber or some other sort of veggie. I don't really eat veggies, so they might as well eat them. But the albino bristlenose in this tank are a breeding project of mine. And uh, hopefully they'll be uh, breeding when they get to breeding size. And, uh, you know, I'll put some more caves in there. I'll do some more stuff for them. But for now, this is sort of where I'm holding them. I will probably breed them in this tank. I'll just set it up a little bit different when it's time. If we move to the next tank, you can see on that cave, there's a calico uh, pleco. Also just an ancestress, um, regular calico pleco. Same, same species as the albino, just calico color, which is like light and dark brown. Um, and there are five of these guys in here. There's one on the wall over there. I don't know if you can see him sort of right there uh see if we can find any more oh yeah there's there's two on the sponge filter back there there's one on the glass on the left one on the glass on the right and if i had to guess there would be one probably on the wood as well these guys are even more piggies than the other ones um because they're a little bit bigger and older now in this tank up here which we probably won't be able to see there's a big, oh, he's kind of in the back in the corner. Uh, you can see him kind of moving. It's not really focusing. There you go. There's a big, big one. Uh, I had a few of these. One of them committed suicide. And uh, the other ones are spread throughout the fish room. But I know there's one in here because uh, I marked BN on the tank. Long story short, I had a... Uh, had a bristle nose in this tank you can see there's a bn on the tank also and i was looking for him and looking for him and he was stuck to the bottom of the filter i pulled the filter up out of the water to clean it and he jumped out and swan dove into this stack of cinder blocks and to get him out i would have had to take in all these tanks down drain them all moved all the fish moved them all then moved some wood, then tried to see if I could reach in there and get him. That wasn't happening. He perished. Sorry. Where should we go next? Should we go Blue Phantom or L144? Let's go L144. These guys are spectacular. There's a breeding group of seven or eight in here. Let me think. I think there's seven. Um, I had ordered five the first time and when i got there he could only find four in the tank and uh, so he ordered five more and when i got there he could only find three in the tank uh and the tanks in the store there's an undergrammer filter and somehow they got down into the undergrammer filter so i was i wasn't about to make him take them apart uh, i just took what he could easily get but these are yellow blue-eyed plecos i thought they were long fin that's what they were listed at on the sheet on the order sheet but at this age, many people have told me if they were long fin, you would know it. And I don't think they're long fin. But I'm going to go with the yellow and the blue eyes, which makes them L144s. It is possible they are just blue-eyed albinos, which would be a regular ancestress. I don't really know. Nobody really knows. It's pretty hard to tell. We're going to call them L144s for now. Um, these guys still have a little bit to go before they are of breeding age and size. I don't know how old they are, but they're still a little small. So we've been fattening them up with the uh, same thing as the other plecos, cucumber and green beans and algae wafers and lettuce. And I think that's all I've tried. When it gets warmer and we have zucchini, I'll give them zucchini. They love that. 
um, all that stuff. And they destroy this wood too. So you can see they're all over it. Um, looking forward to breeding these guys. I've already had many inquiries about them. If you want them, I can certainly get them from my local fish store and pass them on to you for a small fee, of course. Just email me at michaelsfishroom at gmail.com and uh, we can work something out. Now, let's go to the final bit of big pleco, not big, of pleco in my fish room. And that would be the blue phantom pleco. You can see there's one right there on the slate which uh, the slate is really only there to serve as cover for the plecos. There's another one on the little cave. And there was one underneath. I don't know where the third one is. Sometimes the third one, the bigger one, kind of hides behind the filter. But uh, one of these is already sold. And as soon as it gets warm, I will ship it to you. But it was uh, 31 degrees this morning. It's actually about 50 right now, but it's supposed to drop down again. So hopefully I will start shipping fish. Um, maybe the end of this month, we'll see at the weather. Once I start shipping, I will let, oh, there it is. All right, no, just kidding, just kidding. It's a snail, snail alert, false alarm, not a blue phantom. Um, where was I, shipping? When I start shipping, I will let people know and we can decide if it's uh, if it's good for you and it's good for me to ship. We'll give it a whirl. So I do have a bunch of orders waiting from before Christmas and I don't want to hold them any longer if I can help it. So we have blue phantom plecos. I may or may not try to breed these. Uh, like I said, I have one sold. If I get lucky and I have a pair, We'll see what happens. I've never even thought about breeding blue phantom plecos. I don't know what's involved. I would imagine it's very close to breeding every other pleco, but again, I haven't looked into it. I don't know. So if you know anything about breeding blue phantom plecos, drop me a comment, shoot me an email, leave a comment on my website, which by the way, check out my website. It's completely redesigned. It's a little busy, um, but I kind of really like it. And there's a bunch of new stuff there. Not new like products, but just new features and stuff. So take a look, poke around, tell all your friends, share it if you want to, and we'll go from there. All right, that's it for Plecos in my fish room. Um, I'll be doing an update of the planted tank probably next week, and you'll see the lemon Pleco and the two rhino Plecos I have up there. I think we decided they're rhinos. Really nothing else going on in the fish room uh, of interest. I don't think. Look, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, maybe we should feed these guys. See if we can get them to come out. So uh, right now we're going to just feed some regular Hakari algae wafers. Yes, I know the workrooms are dis or the fish room is a disaster. Blah 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 blah. It's hard to get these out one-handed. All right. So we'll drop one bad boy in there. One bad boy in there. Oh. I did miss a pleco in the fish room. Let's take a look if I can find him. Because he's pretty big. I'm going to get the chair. Because he's down low. And that will be easier. Why would you come with me? See, if I was like all into production and stuff, I would... I would... Uh, what would I do? I would edit this out. And you would see magically I'm here. Look at that swordtail. She is jacked up. But I can't do anything. I can't kill her. She'll just live out her life in harmony in here. All right, let's see if we can find the pleco. He's pretty big. This water is cold. Back there. Oh, there he is. Yep, that's a common pleco. It's probably about a year old, maybe a little older. He was in my son's uh, African tank, and my son gave up on fish once his African started dying. And uh, I took him. He was in that 40 breeder that was above this tank for a while. But uh, I did away with that tank and put him down here. And uh, he seems to be doing fine. He's pretty cool looking. Um, doesn't bother anyone. Eventually I'm going to have to rehome him or put him in one of my bigger... Oh, that's a good idea. I could put him in one of my bigger tanks just to uh, 
just to chill. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I won't get rid of him just yet. We'll see. All right. That's it for the Plecocentric Michael's Fish Room Thursday Spectacular. Hope you liked it. All right, fishy folk, let's talk about plecos. Plecos, plecos, plecos. Maybe we should talk about plecos. Hello, fishy folks. Happy theatrical Thursday. I don't know what I'm going to call it. <laughs>